Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and I've got another narrated Pokemon battle for you. So this is the rematch against GamerMZ. He's bringing the same team, and I've changed up a few Pokemon on my team. Um, my team, I now have the Nihiligo instead of Zatu, and I have Mega Pidgeot instead of Mega Caesar. So I'm actually going to lead off with my Nihiligo because it matches up pretty well against a lot of my opponent's team, as he's actually going to lead off with the Cloister. So, Cloister is a pretty big threat. I'm going to go for the Sludge Wave, hoping for the Poison, since I do know this is a Sashed Cloister. We don't get the Poison, but we do quite a bit of damage. Um, now, this Cloister is going to go for the Shell Smash, and that's kind of nerve-wracking, because this thing is very dangerous. If we can't get rid of it, it could sweep our entire team. So, I'm just going to stay in. I don't have anything that wants to swap in on this cloister and unfortunately Nihiligo will take these icicle spears and it will be enough to take it out so unfortunately things are not looking that good right now I'm going to go into Feraligator because Feraligator has some pretty decent physical defense so I'm hoping Feraligator can take whatever this thing wants to go for as the cloister is going to go for spike cannon and it's going to bring Feraligator down below half but luckily for alligator lives there's no crits that we have to worry about and the cloister will go down to this waterfall so things are turning around a little bit now the chestnut will come in that cloister is finally gone that was what I was the most scared of and I think for alligator would still be pretty good in this so I'm going to swap into Pidgeot Pidgeot is a pretty good counter to this as my opponent's just going to go for the spikes um, I don't have my Zat 2, so there's not much I could have done about that. And I don't have a Defogger on this team. So I'm going to go ahead and Mega Evolve my Pidgeot, and I can go for a pretty safe Hurricane right now. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go for Hurricane. That's four times effective on Chestnut, and that will completely demolish the Chestnut. So now Chestnut will go down, and now Geometry, the Porygon 2, will come in at this point. So now... I'm going to have to try my best to take this thing out because I'm pretty sure this thing could have... It does have Thunderbolt, I know for sure. So I'm just going to U-turn out. I don't want to stay in with my Mega Pidgeot. And I'm going to U-turn into my Nidoking, expecting the Thunderbolt. It's pretty possible this thing has Ice Beam as well. As, yes, it does have Ice Beam. So Ice Beam was clearly the safer play for my opponent there because that takes care of the Pidgeot and the Nidoking. I'm just going to go for Sludge Wave, maybe get the Poison, I'm hoping, but it doesn't really do that much, and unfortunately Nidoking will go down to this Ice Beam. So, that's really unfortunate for my Nidoking, but there's not much I could have done there. I'm going to go into Tyranitar, hoping to get at least a Dragon Dance. I've already seen that this thing has Toxic, so I know this thing's moveset. It doesn't really have anything in general to you know go up against Tyranitar um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get a Dragon Dance as this Porygon 2 is going to miss the Toxic so that's really nice and I know this thing can live a Stone Edge so I'm going to actually get another Dragon Dance Hope hopefully you know get a nice threat level going on where I can knock out a lot of my opponent's team and I am at plus two speed plus two attack the Stone Edge will finish off the Porygon 2. So now this thing is gone. I am in pretty decent situation here. And now the Togekiss will come in. So I'm hoping Tyranitar can take a hit from this Togekiss as it's going to go for Dazzling Gleam and Tyranitar actually lives that. And that's going to activate Tyranitar's weakness policy. So I think a weakness policy Tyranitar is actually pretty interesting. This Tyranitar is an unnerved Tyranitar, if you notice. That really helps with these bulky Pokemon that have, you know, Citrus Berry or Pinch Berries. So now that will take out the Togekiss, and Greninja will be coming in. There's not much I have that can switch in onto Greninja, so I'm actually just going to let Tyranitar go down to the Water Shuriken, as yes, that's going to completely annihilate my Tyranitar. Tyranitar was in the red. So now, unfortunately, this thing will have the Battle Bond, and I am kind of nervous about this thing because Ash Greninja, it could be a really big threat. It's a Life Orbed Ash Greninja, though. I'm going to go into Pidgeot because there's not really much I could bring in here, 
as he goes for Dark Pulse. I was worried about Ice Beam, but since he doesn't have the Ice Beam, things are actually looking pretty good now because Pidgeot can fire off a Hurricane, and that will be enough to take out Greninja. So the good thing about Pidgeot is it does have some decent bulk, and it took a Dark Pulse from an Ash Greninja, so that's really nice. So now the Komo'o is coming in, and Pidgeot can go for a really safe Hurricane, you know, Avenge, where the Komo'o swept us the last battle. Mega Pidgeot can come in, finish this game up, and give us the victory. So that was a really good game there, GamerMZ. Um, if you all like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next battle video.